Sandro Mazzino, where did it all begin? 1982. How many years in total did you play for? I officially retired in 99, but then I played B grade maybe for the next, to about 2004, 2005, but I officially retired in 99. Two young kids at a shop, business, something had to give, and so I retired officially. You had a bit of success during your career. Tell us more. Won two premierships. I was my first year in, what was that, 87, we won a premiership. So it was my second year in A grade. I was 18. Won a premiership. And 94, I won a premiership when I was a bit more of a senior player. So one was under Murray Raff and one was under Sam Salvemini. Murray was a motivator, didn't know nothing about soccer, but he could get you up on the day. Whereas Sam was more uh, more on fitness. We worked our asses off. We were still getting home some nights at nine o'clock uh, in the second round. Um, then I had I was under Ashley, I was under Philip, I was under Dougie. So everyone had their everyone had their uh, what's the word I'm after attributes, I suppose, but. They were the two guys that we won the premierships under, and yeah, it was enjoyable. Tell us some of the best players you played with and alongside. Played with locally as the locals. Obviously, Spider was. I played in front of Spider for, I think it was eleven years. He was sweeper. Um, so Spider. Um, who yeah, else would have been there that stood out? Dougie, I played Dougie at the end. I, I played with Philip at the end of their careers. Um, Mick Carreri always held his own at full back. Um, uh, import wise, obviously, you had your Joe Barbros, George Constantopoulos, Lemmy was the gun, and Brooksy was the gun. They were the AK 47s. They were good. They were, they were very good to play with, actually. Oh, then obviously locally, Joe and Vinny coming through were were very good soccer players as well and had good careers as well. Tell us some of the hardest players you've come up against. The hardest players to play against. Well, being centre half, I always technically had the the striker who was always normally the gun, so it was a bit of a hard position because you could actually have someone under control for. 90, 88 minutes and they scored two goals and you, your game's out. So Paul Applin, Zoran, Snipper from Lions. And then we went in State League. I had Jason Tromboli, Robbie Saracino. So, yeah, they were, all, they were always hard. All strikers were hard because they just they were the man that always scored and the, 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 the team looked to. What about personal accolades? Any best and fairest leading goal scorer or anything like that? Nah, me, I won two best and fairest B grade, 82 and 83, I think it was. Um, never leading goal scorer because that was never my never my forte. But the only thing I, 96, our first year in state league, Lemmy won best and fairest, Cooney come second and I come third as a local, so... That was the first year in State League. That was that was a good year, actually. Played some good soccer. Share with us some of your best memories from your journey. That's a hard one. The best memory, obviously, 87 and 94. But I can't remember what year it was, but we actually won a cup, B grade cup, with, with Philip DeJoya, Gino Amato, Maury Raff, John Duca, because me and John Duke didn't play the A's, so we could play the B's. And everyone couldn't play. There was So we got those guys to come in. And we actually beat Lions 2 or 3 1, which is, it was actually incredible. Incredible result. Because if you had seen our team, it was ludicrous. But we just played well and, and defended well and won. So Maury Raff was middle of midfield at about, he would have been. 54, 55, and it was just ridiculous. But we won it. That was, that was a good memory, actually. Any funny stories you can share with us? Oh, off the ground, I remember one year we come off, we come from Wales, it was 87, and the Murray Raff and Sam Selvami were all briarch, drunk, and outside here, there always used to be big potholes in the car park. 
and they threw Mori in the middle. They threw him in the big pothole, jumper and all, straight in. Very, very funny. But that's yeah. On the field, on the field would have been the the pick up of the ball. Who was that? Joe. When Joe picked the ball up in Wyala, that was funny. Johnny Balacco scoring a penalty or missing the penalty, I can't even remember. That was funny. But that's about it. Someone got hurt. Someone got hurt. It was still United. I reckon Stork got hurt, the keeper. And they said, kick the ball out, kick the ball out. And instead of kicking the ball out, Joe picked it up. And I think it ended up being a penalty. Yeah, that was that was quite funny actually. He he was just looking after Stork, but didn't do it the right way. Instead of kicking it out, he picked it up, which was quite funny. Your son Daniel's followed in your footsteps. Yeah, Daniel won a premiership at he was what? What's that? So it's five years. He was seventeen. Um, missed most of the first half of the season. He was in the B grade, but finished the season off in the A's. And yeah, he won a premiership at seventeen. So that was a that was. Yeah, he, he was excited about that. The only thing is, he played the next couple of years, but then obviously went to uni. Fingers crossed, we hope he comes back next year and gets a job in Piri, and then he can play again. So he's missed it. And uh, yeah, it's good that, that my son, in a sense, followed in my footsteps. Big shoes to fill. No, nah, it wasn't big shoes to fill. He, he's a defender. He's a defender like, he, like his father. But then again, in 94, I, I played centre forward the last most of the second round, because Sam put me up front, and because Joe just started, so he put me up front and put Joe at centre half, and uh, yeah, I played the whole, most of the second round centre half, uh, centre forward, but that's where I played as a junior, but I was never a centre forward. Thank you for being a NASA legend, Sandro Mazzino.